let's actually start in a seated position today. Coming into either cross-legged or hero. And let's just land in our seat. And you can close your eyes if that feels appropriate for you today. Just notice how it feels to arrive and to land. Notice what your breath is feeling like. And as the breath comes in, there is a coolness in the nostrils. And as you exhale, there's a warmth that you let go. And you slow it down. Now start to deepen your breath in a way that you can feel the inhale and the exhale uh, with the tempo. We inhale for three or four, and an exhale of three or four. Just creating a little bit of separation from the morning you've had. Quiet the mind. A couple more breaths here before we move into pranayama or breath work for today. All right, take a breath in. And out. Again, breathe in and out. And slowly blink your eyes open. So if you are in hero, kneeling, you might feel more comfortable coming cross-legged for our breath work or sitting up on a block so that there's no pressure on your feet or your ankles. And we'll take the hand. So the pranayama today is alternate nostril breathing. I'm going to take your index finger and your middle finger in, and we're going to use the thumb and the ring finger for our breathing. So how this works is you'll take your thumb to your right nostril and close it off, and then the ring finger will close off the left nostril. All right, so let's take a full breath in and a breath out. One more time, big inhale and an exhale. All right, now close off your right nostril. Inhale slowly through the left for three, two, one. Close both nostrils, pause for three, two, one. Open the right, exhale out the right. Three, two, one. Inhale through the right. Three, two, one, close, three, two, one, open the left, three, exhale out, two, one, inhale slowly, three, two, one, close both nostrils, exhale out the right, three, two, one, inhale through the right, close, Exhale up the left. Three, two, one. Nice and slow. Inhale. Close. Exhale. Breathe in. Close. Exhale left. 
Now do a few cycles at your own pace, maybe adding on an extra second or so. So last round. Inhale through the ring. Close. Exhale at the left. And just let the hand land. Breathe in through both nostrils, in and out. Just notice what's happening internally. All right. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, draw them back and down. Again, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, back and down. All right. So the purpose of alternate nostril breathing is to balance both of the hemispheres in our brain. It also helps to calm our nervous system. Um, oftentimes, if you have a hard time sleeping at night, it helps to breathe in and out just through the left side it's the calming side of the brain the right side is energizing all right so let's come into let's start off actually on our back today so come onto your back let me to move some of the things out of the way lie back knees bent feet flat on the mat and just rock the knees from side to side. Nice and slow. All right, so now we're gonna take the knees together, slide your hips to the left, pull your knees into your chest and let them fall to the right, but bring your left arm over as well. So we're gonna come right onto the right side of the body and we're gonna practice some arm circles here. So as we inhale, open up the chest, open the arm out to the side, and then exhale to come all the way around. Inhale, open the chest, nice and slow. Exhale to come all the way around. Okay, one more time in this direction, and then we'll change the direction. The other side, inhale. Exhale to close. In, open, and then exhale to close. Now this time, as we inhale, let the shoulder blade land and we'll stay in our twist. So open up the chest. So our practice today is unwinding the spine, unwinding all the tightness in our body. Now if the left shoulder blade is up high, you might feel more comfortable with a block or a bolster underneath your right knee. Or if you have a blanket or something to wedge underneath the left shoulder, that might help too. And just breathe into the sensation, whatever is arising for you. Nice full breaths. Now, if you can recreate the three-part breathing or 
the slow count of your sweet breath. Go ahead and recreate it. Feel that space. And you can play with taking the breath between the vertebrae all the way down your spine. All right, and then close the twist, bring the arm back over, and we'll just roll all the way over onto the other side. So we'll take the knees all, the hips all the way over to the right, pull your knees into your chest, and then let the knees fall to the left. Close the right arm. So we're starting in that closed position. And then we inhale, open up the chest, nice and wide. Exhale forward. Inhale to open. And exhale forward. Let's do it a couple more times, big circles. Nice and slow. Now the next time you're in the closed position, let's change the direction. Inhale, open the arm away. Exhale to close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Good. Big breath in. Now this time we'll let it land. Stay in that nice open chest, open twist. Breathe deep. Feel that move all the way down your spine. One vertebrae at a time. The, the right shoulder blade is on support, so either on the mat or on a blanket. Breathe right into the chest. Feel the breath spread from the heart center and reach out the fingertips. And if you can visualize the space in the back body, feel it travel all the way down your spine, between the vertebrae, between that, the, the dense muscles, the dense bones there. We're trying to create space for the cartilage. But then just notice if you're only twisting from one spot. So radiate the twist up and down your spine. Take five of your deepest breaths. Slowly close it off. And then roll onto your back. Feet mat width distance apart. Let the knees knock together and just let that simmer for a bit. We'll just how that feels in your spine and the back body. Nice deep breaths into your lower back, the upper back all into the whole back. Mm -hmm. All right, slowly roll onto one side, press yourself up, and as heavy as you roll on it, 
and they'll grab your bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use your two blocks. If you're using two blocks, it might feel more comfortable to pad the blocks with a blanket or a towel. Um, it would look something like this if you had blocks. So in place of where my bolster is, you'd have two blocks just like that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, let's start actually, I'm gonna turn this way so that we're balanced. We want the left hip to be on the left hip, knees come out, and then we're gonna twist all the way over. So this is a face down, um, coming into another twist. So we're gonna come all the way over and then lay over the bolster. Start with your, your chin or your forehead down or bring your right ear down first. Now, if you're on the blocks, notice where you have, you need the most support. So it might look something like this. You'll come down, you'll come down onto the belly and then maybe onto the head like so as you come down. Now, just notice how that feels too. If there's any pressure on your neck, you might be more comfortable with your face down. So just relax into the shape. As we let the spine and the back round over the support. And even though we were just in a twist, notice how this feels from one twist to the other. The knees can come in a little bit closer and breathe. Concentrate on bringing fullness of breath into your entire back. We're here for about 10 to 15 breaths. Just feel that as it resonates into wherever you're feeling the most sensation. Now the purpose of having the bolster underneath the abdomen also helps to keep the spine more neutral. Because oftentimes when we're twisting, the spine will collapse around the midsection. And so this will help to keep the hips even you could probably feel it that the hips are more stable as they're elevated, as the chest is elevated, I should say. And just let the heart round forward. Five more breaths. Carefully lift yourself up. And we're gonna move right onto the other side. So just take your time as you move the, the bolster, come all the way over onto the other side. So this time, the right hip, bring the bolster in pretty close to the right hip or, or wherever you need to reposition the blocks. Knees come out, so we're at a 90 degree angle with the knees. Rotate over the bolster. Take a full breath in. Feel the stretch already that you're receiving inside of your body before you lower your heart down. And then crawl your way forward. Just take your time. Option to bring the left ear down. Okay. 
Okay, and then just notice what's happening with your breathing. Is your breathing changing? Has the quality of breath dropped? Is it relaxed? Lengthen it out. And just feel the entire back body expand. And there's so much space that we're creating in the entire torso. With the chain, the back chain, that starts from the heel all the way through the back of the legs, through the hips. It's all being stimulated in this twist. And twisting is so wonderful for not only detoxification, but opening up um, other uh, communication from the brain to the rest of the body, bringing our natural curves back into the spine. About five to eight more breaths. Try to stretch them out. Ride the exhale out nice and long. Last two breaths. Mm -hmm. All right, so crawl your way back up. Take your time. Ease your way up. Ooh, I'm going to definitely have yoga brain after this today. <laughs> okay. So move the bolster out of the way. Let's just take pause in Shavasana or resting, whatever that looks like for you. So resting pose, knees bent, feet mat with distance apart, and just let that move into your body. How does that feel in the belly? How does that feel in your chest? Just breathe nice and deep. And there's a sense of calmness that's washing all over you. So the practice of yin is just that. It's welcoming the balance of yang and yin, the calming side. The restorative side. Carefully press yourself back up to seated. Roll on up. Okay. So now take your a wide position. So we're going to open the legs out wide. Now for this, um, if you're kind, you look like this more. Sorry, let me get that out of the way. If you look more like this, that probably means you can benefit from sitting up on something like a pillow or a block or um, a couple books, whatever you have at home. And that will help to elevate the hips and prevent it from rolling back. So if I were tighter in the hips, it would look like that as they came forward. So we want to keep a nice tall back as we lower into this shape. So let's take the legs open. And then you can either bring your blocks, one block on the inside of the feet, or your bolster to start. I'm, I'm going to use the bolster for the most part, but you can use your blocks for your practice as well. So let's take the left elbow onto the bolster. If you're pretty flexible, you can already start by bringing 
the elbow right down to the mat, if that feels good for you. All right, so work with what feels appropriate and we're never at 100% of our stretch. We're at about 50 to 70%. So if you're feeling this a lot, it probably means you'd benefit from backing off. All right, so get nice and long, lean into it, and then we'll take the upper arm, reach it up and over, bend the elbow, and just relax here. You can hang into it, you can fold right into it, or you can bring your hand underneath your head to hold the head up. Breathe into the sides of your body. And just take inventory of where you're feeling this and breathe right into those spaces. Open up the chest. Now, it's so interesting just to feel the story um, that the body, that the body is sending you. So when we move into these shapes, we can really become like Sherlock Holmes here and just investigate where we're feeling this, how we are responding. How do we meet resistance? Now, in the previous classes, I've talked about uh, spine support and all the muscles that help to support the spine in particular, uh, the lumbar spine. Here, we're focusing a lot on a side stretch uh, that isolates some deeper spine muscles. Um, the one in particular is the quadrat quadratus lumborum, which are deep, deep lower back muscles that help to support the trunk of the body. You might be feeling this there, but you also might be feeling this into your latissimus dorsi, which are those large V-shaped muscles in your back. They're huge. They're actually the largest back muscles you have, and they wrap from around the ribs and up. They're kind of like big V's and across the shoulder blades. So they do take up quite a bit of space. All right, five more breaths on this side. Nice full breaths. All right. You can use the hand to pull yourself up or you can crawl up. And move right on to the other side. So move the bolster or your block, slide it over. Let the right elbow land. We'll open through the chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, come up and over. The hand could land on the back of the head. The red hand there to help your head or support yourself up. And just check in with your sit bones again. Keep the sit bones anchored and then the structural part so i talked about the muscular opening here but the bones the foundation of our body they're all wrapped in fascia as well so here we're getting into the ribs right into that film-like fascia, so it's that, that almost like a like see-through uh, fibers that move into the body. So we're getting right into it. And 
and then creating space as we breathe into the intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs, allowing us to maximize our lung capacity. And I hope that when you leave class today, we'll all feel an extra inch or two taller. I'd sure benefit from that. <laughs> Last five to eight breaths. Take a big breath in, exhale, let the arm come down, carefully crawl up, and now we go to the middle. So bring the bolster between the legs or your blocks, and we're going to, you can even elevate them, maybe we have both, maybe you have both accoutrements here, you can take one underneath and just roll over, Ooh. So just notice here, how does that feel on the knees? Maybe you could take the feet a little closer. Take a breath in, length, and fold. And the back of the legs getting a little bit longer in this hamstring stretch. Observing what the quality of your breathing is like. Is there texture? Is there sound? Is there space? your lower back, your kidneys, the adrenal glands, all the organs in the back of the body. Here for about 90 more seconds, so count them to yourself, 10 of your deepest breaths. Feel the entire back, the hips, everything expanding, everything moving. Last four breaths. Your way up. Bring your hands underneath your knees one head at a time. 
bend one knee, bend the other. Move the, the props out of the way and hug your knees in. Add it really tight. All right, so let's just take a moment here, come into um, our next shape. This is always a good one. <laughs> Frog pose. So I'm just going to set this up first here. So we're going to take the edges of our mat and we're going to roll them up. So roll them up a couple, a few times to create padding for the knees. So as we come into this shape, we're going to take the knees out wide, very wide, 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 wide. So when you have a look back, your knees are at 90 degrees and your hips are also at that 90 degrees. So you're in a frog position. Now assess here, you can already feel it. If you're getting a stretch in the groin area, that's great. You can stay right here or you could take it out a little bit wider or more narrow. Just playing with that padding. I'm going to turn so you have a better angle of what's going on here. So it kind of looks like that. And we're going to come down like that. Like so. All right. So here's where your blocks and your bolster will come handy. You'll take them right out underneath your chest. And then lower yourself down. We're going to be here for 30 minutes. No, just kidding. We're only here for about four minutes, five minutes or so. And just rest into it. This will help to support your, your spine, the bolster. You can also stay up on your blocks, underneath the chest, under the forehead. Now the feet, they're flexed. So I'm just breathing nice and deep. I'm just practicing non-reactivity. And as easy as it is to get into this dialogue of negativity when we're feeling these intense stretches, try to just welcome it, invite it, and breathe through it. So how does it feel? What does it feel like without um, disassociating the sensation to the thought, just feeling um, a sense of I can move through this. If you're in any pain, though, get out. There's no pain. No sense in giving, letting yourself move through pain. Uh, they say suffering is an option. Let your body melt into the shape. Breathe so deeply into your back. The tummy relax, the belly relax, and just breathing so deep.
Last five to eight breaths. Time it out. Inhale for three. Exhale for a count of six. Inhaling for three. Exhale for six. Last two breaths. All right, um, there's no graceful way to get out of this pose. So we're just gonna come up onto our elbows, move the bolster and the blocks out of the way, and then slide forward, slide forward, slide forward, come onto your chest, bring the legs out behind you, oh. and just rest here. Forehead can come to the back of your hands. Breathe into your back. All right, hands under your shoulders, push yourself back, tabletop, have a seat, reposition your yoga mat, unravel, and we're going to come into one more seated position before we take final rest. What? Where did the time go? All right, so diamond shape. Instead of coming into butterfly where the heels are closer to your groin like this, we're going to take the legs out a little bit wider, longer, so that the focus will be on the outer hips, the glutes, and the thighs. And then you're going to take your bolster and or your blocks, put them between your feet or between the, the legs, right up to the groin. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, passively fold over your pillows, whatever you're using. Breathing very deep into your spine. Feel this all the way through the back chain of the body. And expanding into your breath, into your back. You can keep one ear down, and I'll let you know when we're halfway so that you could switch the ears. Inhale for space. Exhale for calmness. Then ride out the breath, inhaling for three, and exhaling for six. You can let the hands relax, maybe back the hands resting on the mat, palms turned up, fingers curl naturally. And switch your ears, other ear comes down. 
Nice deep breaths. Expand into the lower back and just visualize your lumbar spine, the low, low back. Just feel it, imagine glowing with breath. Last five breaths. Crawl your way up. Take your time. Mm. Move the bolster out of the way. Help your knees up. Lay on your back. Now we're going to take the bolster underneath. Let's, we have time for one more shape. So let's come on to Let's come into a supported bridge using the bolster and the block. So lift your hips up and slide the, your prop underneath your sacrum. That's that triangular bone at the base of your spine and just relax here. Breathe into the entire back body. And if you like to stretch the legs out in this shape, go for it. Take the legs out long. You could even bring your arms over your head and just relax, melt into it. Get a lot of forward folding today. So this might feel good just to rebound, reset. Slight elevation through the hips. Exaggerate your breath into the abdomen, all the way down into your pelvis, into the groin, into the low back. Last five breaths. You can stay here for your final rest if you want to. I'm here for long. Just a few more breaths. Just allowing our bodies to unravel from the week we've just experienced. Bend your knees, bring your feet on the mat. Lift your hips. And if you have a bolster, just slide it all the way down underneath your knees. Blocks, move them all the way down underneath the knees so the knees are supported for final Shavasana. Now I'm gonna guide you through a mini yoga nidra here. 
So find your most comfortable position. And you might even want to place a pillow under the head too. Notice how it feels to land in this very shape. So head, neck, and spine in alignment. And let the awareness come all the way down to the heels. The weight of the heels dropping into the mat. Moving to the calves as they're heavy, the upper legs, your hips, and there are points of contact on your back that are on the mat, your shoulder blades nice and heavy, the elbows heavy. And the back of your hands heavy. Just feel the weight of your body dropping onto the mat. And as we really sink into the Shavasana today, let's just form a Sankalpa, which is an affirmation that you want to move throughout the rest of your day and we can embody it. Maybe it's something really simple, as in, I am present, I'm present in my day, I'm confident in my skin, I have an abundance of love, an abundance of wealth, everything I need is right here with me. Just keep it really simple. And then say that affirmation to yourself two more times, mentally and quietly. And you can feel it move into your body. Shift your awareness to your right hand. The fingers, the back of your hand, the palm of your hand. The right wrist, the lower arm, the upper arm. right shoulder blade, and the right armpit. The right side of your body into the waist, your hip, your thigh, down to the lower leg, right ankle, Top of the right foot, sole of the right foot, all the toes of the right foot, the whole right side of your body. And now bring your awareness to your left side, your left hand fingers, the palm of your hand, the back of your hand, the wrist, the left lower arm, the left upper arm, the left shoulder blade, left armpit. The right and the left side body, 
your waist, your hip, the upper left leg, your lower left leg, your heel, the top of the left foot, the sole of your left foot. all five toes of your left foot. The whole left side of your body. And bring your awareness to your right eye, your left eye, both eyes together. Right nostril, left nostril, both nostrils. And soften into your throat. Soften into the belly. Welcome to stay here longer in this observance of your body. Or you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take movement into your wrists and your ankles. And stretch your arms over your head, toes reach, reach, reach. Maybe lifting the hips off the, the mat. Roll onto your side and carefully roll yourself up. Thank yourself for devoting this time to your practice. From my heart to yours, namaste.